Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial in Revit architecture. I am architect Sonu Rai from Glad Studio and today I am going to discuss void forms in Revit cre creation of family. So I am going to my families tab here and I am going to again click new and I am going to English and family templates and I am working in uh, feet and inches so I am going to use this English imperial and now like my previous tutorial you can select this generic model dot rft you can open and you will create a profile so in the previous tutorial i have discussed about this and this the topic i am going to discuss today so this is void forms so this void forms is just opposite of these tools like extrusion blend revolve sweep and swap blend you will find void extrusion in place of extrusion, void blend in place of blend, void revolve in place of revolve and void sweep in place of sweep and void swap blend in place of swap blend. So their basic function is just opposite of these tools and almost uh, the commands are similar. So I am going to create uh, the use of this void extrusion and after that I will discuss this one also so this is very important topic so i'm going to first create any solid shape here i'm going to select my extrusion and suppose i'm going to uh, create uh, any solid shape here and i'm going to give this uh, high 10 feet here and we'll apply any material here and suppose i'm going to create a new material and i'm going to apply a brick here I'm going to uh, use this Adobe Peach and we'll apply OK and I'm going to finish this and uh, I will go to our 3D view and to realistic mode and now you can see this is our solid shape so I'm going to create white extrusion here and suppose I want to resist any rectangular shapes or squares of any, any other shapes you can do it from here or any other place or from top bottom but uh, I will tell you you have to define the work plane so I am going to create any extrusion or void extrusion here so I am going to my void forms I will select this one void extrusion first and I am going to define this work plane here I will pick a plane okay and I am going to select this one so we are now ready to create our void extrusion here so i am going to select this rectangular shape and we'll draw any rectangle here and uh, we'll set this void extrusion properties here extrusion start from 0 foot 0 inch so i want this one to go uh, minus six uh, minus one foot so uh, i'm going to apply here and use use this also cut geometry should make sure that it is sticking here and entity data solid void should be in void forms if you want solid you will select solid so leave like a void so i'm going to apply and we'll use this finish edit mode and you can see our void is what my extrusion is created in earlier version if you find difficult to uh, cut this you will use this one cut geometry you will go to this cut geometry and you will select this shape and then your extrusion and your void extrusion will be created so this is Revit 2022 and we have created this void extrusion here and after creating also you can edit this I am going to select this one and you can edit the extrusion also also suppose I want uh, any curve shape here down I will select this one and I will delete and I will go finish edit mode and you can see our void extrusion of this shape is created so uh, next is that I am going to delete this and we will go to create and we will choose next one void blend so uh, I want to use void blend on this plane so I am going to select this void blend and I am going to set a plane here I am going to pick a plane and I will use this one 
and now I will draw my base here and I am going to give any hexagonal shape here and I will give this uh, start end from 0 feet 0 inches and I will end this at 6 feet I will go apply and now I am going to edit top and I will give one circles, circular shape here and after finishing this we will uh, use this finish edit mode and now I am going to my wireframe you can see this is the shape we have created so I want to pass it through whole solid so I will drag this I want to pass it through this side and I want to pass it through this side you can take any length larger than this solid shape so I am going to uh, realistic mode and you can see this void blend is created so likewise you can use in your design project so now I, uh, after that also you can edit like uh, your you can edit top and edit base so I am going to delete now I am going to use third one that is void revolve so it is just opposite of this revolve and any function is similar but it will create void instead of solid so i'm going to use void revolve on this plane so i'm going to use this void revolve and i will define my first work plane here i'm going to pick a plane and i will select this plane and now we are ready to create our revolve so first you need to draw your 2d shape and that will be revolved around this axis line so first thing is that you should create a shape of your revolve you can create any creative shape so i'm going to create with the help of line tool and i will create any shape here and i will revolve So I have drawn my 2D shape here and now I am going to define axis line. If you not define axis line, revolve will be not created. So I am going to create an axis line here and after that I am going to finish edit mode and yeah, your very interesting shape is created with the help of revolve you can use in your landscape project like sitting areas or any other architectural projects or you want to so some uh, church interior or any kind of building you can use this kind of uh, tools so uh, revolve word is very important so i'm going to select delete this and you can also edit like other tools so let's delete it and now i'm going to create another void sweep so i am going to select this one you can create a void sweep by using this and so i am going to first pick a path so i am going to pick a 3d edges so i will i want to create on three sides here and uh, i am going to finish my path here and now you are required to draw profile so I will go and click this one and again we are ready to edit our profile so we are required to draw your profile it will be sweep and uh, I am going to draw any rectangular shape here any size I am going to finish this and again modify you have to click this one and I am going to finish edit mode and you can see your sweep is created sweep by void and you can create something interesting creative structure or block or model by using this one so slowly slowly you have to develop your skill using these tools so now i am going to cancel this one and now i am going to create and we'll go to our last tool that is void swap blend so it is almost similar like this but it is having two working plan so i'm going to select this one and i'm going to pick a path and i'm going to first select this one 
and now I'm going to create our plane first. So I'm going to modify swap plant and I'm going to select profile one and we'll edit profile. And now we are required to draw our shape. So I'm going to take any rectangular larger shape here and I'm going to finish edit mode. And again, I will click this one, modify swap plan and I will go to select my second profile and we'll finish this, sorry. And we'll go to select this profile and again, click this one. So uh, I'm going to edit profile for this one. So I will draw any, uh, suppose I want to draw any smaller rectangular here. And I'm going to finish this again. Click this one, and I'm going to finish my model. And you can see this is created, but uh, we have to first uh, edit this one, edit our profile. So I'm going to select my profile, I'm going to select, and I'm going to edit this profile. I will bring more than this wall I'll finish this one again I will go to click this one and we'll select profile 2 and click again and I'm going to edit my profile here and bring larger than uh, the length is should be larger than this wall so I'm going to finish this and you can see small niche is created alongside you are using this swap blend so uh, this is was the tutorial about today's topic in the next video tutorial i will come with some more interesting topics so thanks for watching please like share and subscribe my channel thanks